All right, in today's video, I'm going to pretty much show you how I go through and create a bootable Windows drive that I use to put on my rigs, my gaming computers, whatever I'm building. If I'm using Windows, this is how I do it. Sometimes I do Ubuntu on Linux. I make a Linux bootable drive. And uh, there's nothing to stop you really from making a dual boot or having multiple drives. One is Windows, one is Linux. And you just basically pick the order. You want the things to boot up or select the drive you want, dual boot, whatever. I'm just gonna keep this simple. This is how I take a SDD drive, a solid state drive, put it in my USB on the uh, computer I'm gonna use to uh, transfer the image to and uh, make a Windows bootable drive. And I'll take that drive then and stick it on my rig. So there you go, there is the whole lesson right there. What do I use? First of all, you're gonna need an image. So here we're looking over here and hold on again. I always forget the cursor. I forget the cursor of truth. Oh, here we go. Hold on one second. All right. Over here, these are all my downloads over rigs and mining crap and drivers, everything. You can see all the crap I always been downloading just to run some of my rigs. Uh, ignore the world of warships. I get bored now and just want to play warship games, right? All right. So you need an ISO image, Windows 10 ISO. But, but Crypto Jim, where do you get that? All right. Well, you got to go get it. There is a thing you can download from uh, Microsoft. It's called Media Creation uh, Tool, right? So go download that. Just look up Media Creation Tool. It comes from the Microsoft site. And you want to download that EXE to your computer. And it's going to help you create an ISO image, right? I'm going to start this up here. I did click it and nothing's happening as usual. All right. Try it now. There we go. Woo. So it's a Microsoft product, media creation tool, getting a few things ready. Oh, do, 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 do. All right. We're going to wait. It's doing something. It's doing magical stuff behind the scenes. This is going to basically get us an ISO image. All right. I want you to read everything in here, right? And hit accept. <clears throat> I'm kidding. Hit accept. Getting a few things ready again. Do, 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 do. They should play music. Right? Oh, we're just waiting. It's all right. I don't want to upgrade this PC. Negative. Create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, ISO file, big daddies. That's what you want. You just click, uh, click, click. You click this, select that radio button. Go down here to next. Boom. Language, English, English, English. Uh, Windows 10, 64 bit is what I am on. Uh, let's see, use the recommended options for this. Yeah, default settings all the way. You are good to go. Yeah, once you get booted up on your rig, you're going to have to go through. Obviously, it's a fresh install. You're going to have to configure the network, the users. Uh, uh, what else? I said network. Uh, permissions. Virtual memory. Uh, download crap uh, like uh, Brave Browser. And uh, if you want Chrome, use Chrome, whatever. I uninstall Edge. I get rid of Edge. Don't use Windows Edge ever. They uh, collect everything they can on you. Uh, what else do I? Uh, you'll figure it out. But I'm not there yet. So we're just trying to make an image. So you got to get the image first, you know, like you can't make an omelet without an egg. So we're getting the egg. All right, let's rock. What if I do next? USB flash drive. I, did, I don't really care right that. Uh, you probably, I don't know. I just get the ISO file. I just want to have that guy. And then you can see where you want to save it. Boom. I already have one. So this is how you do it. It's just, you have to get this media creation tool downloaded from microsoft it'll pop right up when you search for it it's not that difficult so get that create your iso file i stick it in my downloads it takes a while to create this image so once you get that i'm just going to get out of this thing uh, i do want to quit oh my lord all right so anyway you will get an iso file look you will get about what is that five gigabytes four gigabytes you can't really move that thing. So that's why you need the creation tool to create it on your drive. You try moving this file, good luck. It's going to be a pain in the butt to move that 
between uh, systems and unless you're networked or something, but it's a huge file, your ISO image. So just be aware of that. All right, so we got the ISO image. What next? All right, now what I use, I'm sure there's some other apps, but what I use is another app called Win to USB. Oh, it's called free. All right, Win to USB. And uh, let's see, do I have it on my desktop? But yeah, it's right there, but hope that's not the install. That should be the application. All right, let's do that. Win to USB free. Let's see if that's the right one. All right, blah, blah, blah. Again, go look for Win to USB and then look, do download, and then you'll get search results. Make sure you pick a valid one. All right, select, so. All right, that's the wrong one. That's the installation. I knew it was wrong. So I want to get Win to USB. So I had it on my desktop. Hold on, Win. It's called Haslio Win to USB. All right, let's do that. Win to USB. Hope that's the right one. It better not be the install. One. There we go. Yeah, I was trying to run the install. This is what you want. So it's called. Once you install it, it's going to be called at Haslio Win to USB. This I think is one of the most recent features. I'm doing the free version. And uh, we go in here. You can do Windows to go USB install or clone Windows to a USB drive as portable Windows. All right. Windows installation USB. Create a Windows installation USB drive from a Windows installation ISO. That looks like what I want. Uh, what's this one? Create a bootable WinPE USB drive from a WinPE uh, ISO. All right. I'm just going to do this one. All right, select installation source. I did the middle one by chance. I just zipped over that. Uh, here's your source. This is where you're going to pick your um, ISO file. Wait, destination drive. Oh, let's see. I don't have a drive in now right now. Partition scheme. Okay. Select installation source. Why are you giving me a pain right now? Oh, you can download Windows and say ISO from Microsoft. Oh, you can do that as well. But I already made my own. So browse image file. Let's see if it comes up. Let's go to downloads. Downloads. I just made mine. Why? Just so I have it. So I always hate looking for crap. So at least I got it right here. And I did the installation source. Did it take it? Are we having trouble here? Browse image file. And I did that. Do this. And we're going to. Who's curious about this? Select the Windows version you would like to download. You can actually go over here. Oh, yeah. So if you don't, if the download is slow or fails, it is recommended that you use the mediator, the Microsoft Media Creation Tool to download the Windows. That's what that tool did. The, yeah. That's what the Media Creation Tool does. It creates the ISO for you. All right, let's go back to home. Uh, Windows installation, USB, browse, Windows ISO. All right, there's the image file. Now all you do is you need to pick, you need to have an SD or a drive in like USB port that you want to basically install this bootable Windows ISO image on. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I have one. All right, let's find one. I mean, this is all you do. It's not really hard. The hardest part of any of this crap is finding the right tools to do this. Like, I didn't know I needed a media creation tool. I'd go find it, and then months later, I needed it again. I go, where was this dumb thing? Where's the ISO? Where did I put it? So now I just put everything in. I made a write-up of this as well, step by step. And now I store it, because I know I'm going to forget this. So I have it. Every time I need to make a new Windows image, boom, it's going to take me, you know, once it, once it gets going, under an hour versus hours trying to find the uh, Windows USB app. I'm trying to remember that. Trying to find a Windows Media Creation Tool. And what the heck? What are the steps? So basically two steps. Get the Media Creation Tool downloaded. 
create the ISO image from that tool. Boom, you got it. It's going to be huge. It's a huge file. Uh, next step is get this Haslio Win to USB. Use the free version. And uh, next thing is bring that up. You have your ISO image. Now you need your drive. You need a drive you want to install this image on. And I'm looking for a drive here. What is that one? I don't want to fry that one. Oh, what's that one? That's not even a USB one. Hold on. We're looking for one here. I got all these. I got all these memory sticks or these. Oh, let's try. I don't know about this one. Oh, let's try this one. Hold on. I want to see if that's it. So what I just put in there was a good drive. I don't want to burn this one. I just put in an SD drive, right? And this has all my stuff on it. It's like all my rigs and everything. But anyway, you put your SD drive in. What I usually do is I go in here and I format the thing. So I would go in and format it. If it's a new thing you bought from Amazon or a memory stick or an old one, I'd go format it, make sure it's clean. Uh, yeah, make sure you have something to, uh, to start from because if you don't have a clean one, it may not recognize it over here. So if you're finding your drive is not being recognized over here, I'm just wondering if this can be recognized. Oh man, come on. All right, I'm trying to figure this out. Let's do a refresh. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, that's it. USB. I'm not going to do that. I want to fry this drive. But your drive will pop up. Yeah, that's a uh, 28 gigabyte memory stick. I call them memory sticks, whatever. That's a sand disk. Got a bunch off Amazon. Boom. Now you can, uh, you can select your partition scheme. Um, MBR for BIOS and UEFI. Uh, GPT for UEFI. MBR for BIOS. I would with the modern model bet with the mod, modern newer motherboards, the MSIs I used. I, I found that they were looking for a GPT or a UEFI, right? MBR is like the old default days. It'll boot up. But I found it actually liked the MSI motherboards liked when I did the GPT for UEFI selection. Yeah, you can pick that, right? And all you do is proceed. I'm not going to do it. This, you got this far. You got the drive in. You formatted it beforehand. It's fresh. Wind to USB did recognize it. And you're good to go. That's all you need. And you just start frying this thing. And it'll start um, installing the ISO image on your SD. It's going to take a bit. So just, you know, go have some coffee, walk the dog, phone the neighbors, and uh, then come back and check the status. Once it's done, it'll tell you. It may be stuck on 90% for a while. Don't touch it. Just let it finish. Like a dog humping your leg. Just let it finish, you know? And then once it's finished, you're good. You can take that USB stick, put it into your rig uh, as a USB, plug it in. Or if it's a SATA drive, you can hook it up. Like I use the Kingston 128 gigabyte. Uh, uh, the wafer ones and also the uh, M2 form factor ones as well, which I love. They just pop right on the motherboard next to the PCIe slots. Uh, and there's a there's an adapter I use for that. It plugs into the USB so I can flash it on this screen right here. It'll come up. It's just an SD, right? It's a, it's a USB drive. Boom. I will uh, flash that with the ISO image. And then I'll go to my new rig I'm building or my new computer, my game, whatever I'm building for somebody, for me or whatever. I will uh, put that on the motherboard, uh, boot up, go to the BIOS, make sure it's going to boot from that drive. And then I just then go back, you know, check my settings from the BIOS, reboot it. It should come up and then you'll get the Windows logo saying, hey, new install. Do you want to go install as English, French, German? You know, it's that whole fresh install page. And then that is all you do. Piece of cake. Again, the hardest part is finding the right tools, where they are to create the ISO image and to actually do the flashing of the Windows image onto the uh, SD drive. Uh, sure, there's other ways to do it. The ISO image is key. I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to flash these little guys onto the thing, but this is what I use and it works. Been doing it for a while. And uh, yeah, I go with what works. I'm so sick of learning new stuff most times. Just go with what works and you get your job done a lot quicker. All right, I hope this helps. Go forth, do great things. Any questions, post them below. I'll try to answer them. Again, this is free. I don't have much time to answer every question. But if you have better ways to do it, post that as well because I'm also 
looking to learn. That's why I made these videos, just so other people can chime in and say, well, have you thought about this crypto gem? And I'll say, no, thank you, God, for telling me because now I'm learning new stuff. And that's what it's all about because I don't know half of anything. So uh, I just do this to learn from others. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope this helps. And yeah, post some comments below. Let's learn together. All right, I'm out. Boom.